An event in White Plains was intended to promote healing from anti-Semitism and hate. Instead, things turned heated. CBS 2's Tony Aiello explains how this happened in a CBS 2 exclusive. Pro-Israel demonstrators gathered at a White Plains church. We have to have guards, armed guards in front of our synagogues. Where Congressman Jamal Bowman was hosting a Healing Against Hate event. We acknowledge the trauma and the pain and the fear. Many Jews in the 16th Congressional District are upset Bowman voted against resolutions to condemn Hamas. Westchester is 15 percent Jewish. You are not representing our I, interests I when you have, vote I against have. resolutions like that. The second term congressman also boycotted the July speech to Congress by Israeli President Herzog and now supports a ceasefire in the Israel Hamas war. You're calling for some weird ceasefire that isn't going to accomplish anything other than Hamas, give Hamas, which is basically an ISIS organization, time to regroup and kill more Jews. Never say ever that I'm okay with the killing of Jews. Ever say that. Ever. Because no one, this, this is insane. Bowman says Israel cannot respond to Hamas's war crimes with war crimes of its own. He believes that's what's happening and that's why he supports a ceasefire. This woman agrees. Jewish voices are not a monolith and there are many Jews, including myself, that are for a ceasefire and for peace. The pastor of Calvary Baptist Church, known for good relations with the Jewish community, asked everyone to leave, and Bowman's meeting was relocated to his district office. Bowman's views on Israel will be a major issue into next year when he runs for a third term. Many Jewish leaders are pushing the popular county executive, George Latimer, to challenge Bowman in a Democratic primary. Latimer says he's considering it. In White Plains, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.